They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. But not you, man. But they can't control- Why has Jay-Z been coming up with you lately? Because he's a monster. I guess his brother kept stealing Jay-Z's jewelry. So at one point, I guess Jay-Z pulled out a gun and ended up shooting his brother, I guess in the arm or something like that. Yeah. Jay-Z turned himself in tonight and the cops started working on his rap sheet, accusing him of, of a stab. Jay-Z wanted him out of the industry, period, so he could take over and be the biggest. Big L was who put Jay-Z on. Yeah, of course. And then Big L died and then Jay-Z. Imagine Jay-Z as the world's foremost hip-hop authority at his feet. He accepts payment as if it were nothing. How did he manage to take over this kingdom, though? The tea is sputtering, honey. Insiders are making assumptions about the bizarre route Jay-Z took to success. Rapper T. I. is dishing some huge dirt by calling Jay-Z a murderer with cold blood. Whoa, what? Jay-Z's transition into such a violent monster was even explained by T. I. Keep your hats on, people. Things are about to get juicy. He will slump anyone in any relationship. T I is no exception to the rule that rappers have egos that are bigger than their songs. He is positioning himself as the best of the best, outshining Jay-Z and all other well-known names in the field. Confidence is essential for success, but is T I just saying that, or is he really the unchallenged king of hip hop? Ain't nobody with me. No, 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 no. To the point where they don't even want to be on the same record with me because they know they can't with me. You ain't, you ain't never heard me on no record with nobody, and they, they, they dusted. He, I, is disclosing more details regarding Jay-Z's past. He believes that his difficult childhood was a major factor in the emergence of his aggressive tendencies. Let's all be fair and give credit where credit is due. Despite having a challenging background, Jay used his street smarts and resilience to get to the top. It's been said that old habits are hard to break, and it seems that his aggressive behavior has been ingrained in him. Hey, whatever it is, it works. Let's talk about good fortune. Jay-Z is a very lucky man. However, let's not forget that he is also cunning. When Jay was dealt lemons by life and his father separated when he was a little child, everyone thought his future was predetermined. He, however, had other plans. He put in more effort than anyone else, turning his misfortune into wealth. He is now the first wealthy artist and a living example of how, with patience, a little bit of luck, and a lot of street smarts, you can achieve your ambition. The supporters assert, in their own words, that they are businessmen rather than entrepreneurs. It's time to dig further into Jay-Z's story. Despite the fact that you may have once thought he was a true inspiration, not everything is what it seems. Let's have a quick discussion on Jay's musical activities. Unlike other struggling artists, he seemed to become well-known overnight. But is it really only a matter of his talent? People, there's something unusual going on here. All of Jay's rivals and competitors mysteriously vanish, allowing him to dominate the rap scene. Coincidence? No, we think. Rapper Jaguar said what we were all thinking. Jay-Z's rise to prominence has a sinister feel. Died, Tupac died. There was the, the, the fight between who was the top rapper now, Nas and, and Jay-Z. And then the next thing you know, Nas has a nervous breakdown and he's taken out of the game and then saw Jay-Z. Jaguar is certain that Jay-Z used highly nefarious methods to amass his wealth and power. The person has been entirely overcome by his desire for money, fame, and power. He will do whatever it takes to succeed. anyone in any relationship for a dollar. Look at how he did Dane. If you're a halfway intelligent person, when do you start questioning how lucky someone wants to get? We have no purpose. This person has a real propensity for violence. When he got into a fight with a record producer in a club, Jay-Z drew a knife instead of settling the conflict like a responsible adult. Yes, what you heard is true. He simply stabbed the dude, establishing himself as a violent rapper. Witnesses say that Jay-Z allegedly plunged a knife into Rivera's stomach and smashed a bottle over his brother's head before running out of the club. However, things only grow worse. Jay-Z had already gotten into a physical brawl in a crowded club. He once accidentally whacked a man over the head with a bottle. Who or what kind of being would do that? He appears to be a time bomb that could go off at any moment. Today I was pushed into Jay-Z, um, where he turned around and just hit me with a, a bottle over the head. Evidently, he is not the inspirational figure we all thought he was. In actuality, 
several questionable methods might have contributed to his success. There are persistent accusations that Jay-Z has a tendency toward violence and that this is all connected to his rocky past. According to T, AJZ has always had a violent streak that goes all the way back to his early years. Old habits are difficult to break, as they say. While Jay-Z may have used violence in the past to get by, today days he uses it to keep his place at the top of the rap game. This whole entourage, I mean about 30 guys, jump, proceeded to you know jump me, hit me with tables and so forth and so on. However, things only grow worse. Jay-Z is well known for his violent demeanor, and some people even think he's killed someone. Yes, he is allegedly responsible for the passing of the talented young singer Aulaya. As if that weren't enough, there are serious allegations that he sent people to deal with his rivals, including Kanye West. His propensity for violence isn't the only thing to be concerned about. Jay-Z is a rather avaricious person. He is entirely consumed with wealth and power, and he will do anything to acquire more of both. Even charges of theft and threatening others have been brought against him. He said, I've come here to tell you the truth. Call me Jay-Z, Brew. You haven't called me yet. Call me Jay-Z. I am aware that Jay-Z has murderers. Do not direct them at my head, please. Just give me a call. Speak to me as a man. Jay-Z likes to think that he does to people what they do to him. He says he is like a mirror that will only reflect your behavior. He said, I'm a mirror, says Jay-Z. Smile into the mirror, you'll get smiles back. Throw insults into the mirror, you'll get insults back. It is simplistic to say that Jay-Z's violent behavior is only a reflection of society in order to free him of responsibility for his actions. It is possible to trace Jay-Z's tendency toward violence back to his early years. He was left to raise his family in a housing project after his father abandoned the family, where he had to learn how to survive in a tough environment. When Bill Kondo talking about that on TV, that just, it's not cool. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a bit over the Despite his best efforts, he continued to encounter difficult circumstances and resort to violence as a means of survival. He is usually compared as an imprisoned crab trying to escape from a barrel. It reminds me of crabs in a barrel. Crabs have been observed attempting to escape the barrel. They attempt to stand up by pulling each other down. They simply take hold of anything they can. It's extremely risky because people are at the point where they're willing to do anything. Additionally, because of your tight quarters, you must always be on the lookout for danger. When Jay-Z was just 12 years old, he committed a violent act when he hit his brother in the shoulder. While he doesn't seem to be affected by it now, he doesn't take pride in what he did. Initially reluctant to discuss his past, he later opened up about it in an interview. Right? But I don't intend to return there. However, there were crack wars in the projects, especially at the time of Reaganomics. There was a smell all around. That was incredible. In the dead of night, it was like wandering zombies. Black youngsters were making a lot of money, and they were fighting over it while brandishing Uzis. Can you picture it? Semi-automatic weapons. JC2 struggled with addiction at a young age and turned to selling drugs as a way to better his life. However, the more money he earned and trading success he experienced, the more he was attracted into the high-risk lifestyle. He talked about this dark part of his life and recalled, from the time I was about 16 until I was about 22, I was a fairly little guy when I first started working the streets. But after a while, I did good, which made it much tougher for me to leave. I believe that my earnings were higher than those of rappers. I drove a Lexus with TVs inside. I believe that my life was superior than theirs. I had a rope chain, just like you did. Fans have been optimistic that Jay has turned his life around and that all this violence is just a thing from his past. One person commented, Growing up poor in a terrible neighborhood and being influenced by a lot of violent people is an environment that would wreak havoc on most adolescent minds. Jay C. is an adult now with a good life and a family. I'm not absolving him of his crimes. I'm simply suggesting he could have become a better person than he was as a young thug. Others seem to believe that it's pretty unfair that he still gets to enjoy his career and business opportunities, even though he has an extensive history of violence. On that note, Lynn Redditor wrote, to add insult to injury, it doesn't even get him cancelled professionally either. In the culture where he and people like Chris Brown exist, being a violent criminal just gives you cred. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe our channel for more celeb videos. Don't forget to like and comment. Also share it with friends and family.